Well, thanks for keeping the kids tonight, Joan. No, no, I don't have any plans. Um, just tell them I'll call them to say goodnight. Thanks. I can design something better than that. Who is it? It's Will. Hi. Hi. Where's Gwen? Uh, that's why I'm here, actually. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Can I come in? Sure. So, um... I heard about Jack and everything, and I'm uh, sorry about that. Thanks. Yeah. Are the uh, are the kids home? No. No, they're spending a night at the neighbors. Well, that's good. So let's go. We go go where? Uh, Crash is opening tonight. You know Lisa's new club. They're having this huge party. So unless you have a better offer, you should go with me. Any word? Oh, Meg, relax. We'll find Emily. And in the meantime. <laughs> Paul wants to keep you safe. I'm keeping you safe. Nobody's keeping Paul safe. Paul went out to take a walk to clear his head. And you believe him? It is not my job or cousin of mine to keep tabs on your boyfriends. Jack, Paul and you are on the same side now. I am not on the same side where people take law into their own hands. Are we talking about Paul or Carly? We are not having this conversation. Look, arrest me or let me go. Yeah, and deal with Emma? No way. It's called protective custody, Meg. You can't keep me here. I haven't committed any crime or broken any law, so if you're not going to do anything to help Paul, I will. Meg. in this file, Jack. It's not your case. And Mike's cousin. Yeah. That's why you gotta stay out of it. Just tell me the ID on the body. Forget it. How long was this skeleton in the wall? I mean, is there a cause of death? You wanna take a look at this file, write up an official report to hell or the commissioner. I'm asking for a favor. That's a good one. Jack, he was trying to do the right thing by returning stolen property. Would he have gone near that wall if he thought he'd implicate himself in a murder? I am not having this discussion with you right now. All right. If you find anything, that could tie Mike to that body. Would you tell me? Stay out of this case, Nick. Having you on my back is the last thing that's gonna help Mike right now. Of course, if you'd rather mope around here with a cheap glass of wine. You're in the minor as well. I know head games. I invented head games. You want to get me all worked up, so I charge out, go to the party just to prove a point. Is it working? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood. Not tonight. Not even to hear Gwen sing? Gwen singing? Yep, and she's really nervous, so I thought maybe, you know, if you were there, that would help. <sighs> My sister, the rock star. Well, not quite, mm -hmm. not yet, but, you know, watch out someday. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, do you want to go? I'll drive. I don't know. I'll think about it, but no promises, OK? OK. Um, she goes on soon. I said I'll think about it. All right, well, I got to get back. Hey, Will, thanks for letting me know. And if I don't show up, wish her luck. I will. And I hope you do show up, because it would really mean the world to her. Can I have an autograph? Hey, where'd you go? She said to check something out. How do I, uh, how do I look? You look like a star. Mm. Hi. That's the best I could do on short notice. Hey. How did you even know? I uh, heard that you're headlining. Oh, so that's where you went. <laughs> See, you're already up two fence. You guys want something to drink? Yes, I I'd love it. No, I'm okay. cool. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He uh, begged you to come? Well, I stopped him before he got down on his knees. Oh. <laughs> Look, um, I, I know you probably don't feel much like going out right now. No, but... I'm fine. This looks like a fun night. You OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here to have fun. Um, not cry about my marriage. Well, um, I'm, I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, actually, I have to go check on a yeah, couple no, things. Yeah, no, go. Before. I'll hold these for you. Okay. Go ahead, and I'll, I'll see you on stage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the lady I was talking about. Oh, right. Sweet. Ah, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Is it close to what you had at home? Yeah, it's close enough, yeah. Great. <laughs> so, uh, where'd Gwen go? Just to do whatever someone does before they sing. <laughs> Okay. Um, do you mind if I, uh... No, go ahead. Okay. Hey, Will. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, what's your tally? <laughs> My tally? Somewhere between none of your business and get lost. You know, that stuff can give you a nasty headache. Sort of like you. What's that for? Um, uh, inviting Carly. Good evening. May I have your attention, please? This will just take a minute. Carl. But first of all, I want to thank all of you for being away. here tonight. It's just my, my. so good to look out. Seems and like my glass is always half empty these days. Friends. You know, I'm going to drive you home. But tonight I will drive is myself. It's really important to me because you do that, and I'll just fine. I'll pull you over. I mean, it's your choice, Carly. Club. The best thing about Mabel's was the red hots. Well, we intend to keep this place red hot. That's the thing about Crash. We want to keep it hot. And it's a place to be seen. But first of all, I want to introduce you to two wonderful people, young people, who have put the music together for us tonight. My grandson over there, Casey Hughes. Come up here, darling. Come on. Up here. And certainly to Gwen Munson. Come up. Come up, Gwen. 